Hello again everyone, Deflect here, Firm at Fair Gaming. Wanted to bring you a video on how to gear a DPS one in 7.0. As you know, the combat system has changed and with it, all new changes to the gearing. Uh, now there is some things to shoot for, as always, your accuracy, your alacrity, and your crit are the big ones. And uh, most DPS, I'm not gonna say all, but most DPS gear the same way. Uh, that does not include your abilities, but it will include uh, all your regular gear, your accuracy, and all that. So I do not, I'm missing two of the relics, I haven't been able to get them to drop, and I'm missing one or two purple pieces because, again, I'm getting doubles, triples, and quadruples of ones I already have. So RNG is not on my side. But before I get into that, if you guys can like, share, subscribe, it greatly helps out the channel. And if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment below before. Uh, and as usual, I'll try and get back to everyone with uh, the questions they have and they can answer hopefully all of them for you. But uh, anyway, getting into the gear. There is things you want to shoot for and I will show you with mine. Like I said, I'm missing both, not just one, I'm missing both of the relics. I haven't been able to get them to drop, but I have optimized my gear as best as I can for what I have. So getting into what you need. As you can see, my damage is around 48,000 just over, and my survivability is, you know, 32,000. My support is 28. Uh, there's a new number for accuracy. Uh, I don't know the exact number, but it's very close to 3,065 because accuracy you will need 110% as usual. Now, to get this 110%, uh, I'm at 10%. You always start with 100. Uh, if you're a tank, you actually get the 110 for free, but that's tank and we'll get into that on a different video. So I'm at 10% uh, point zero one. So it's got to be very, very close. It might be 3,063 or 3,062, somewhere in there, but I'm at 3,065 for accuracy. It will require a bunch of purple accuracy mods to do it on the gear I had. So that is how I got there because you also want to have your alacrity at 7.15 to hit the GCD now. With this 7.15, it can come uh, from sorcerers. You automatically have that 5%, so you only need 2.15. Big, big difference. The rest of the kid, uh, ones that don't have the free alacrity, I think some um, one of the bounty hunters gets a 3% or 5% as well. But uh, yeah, for the most part, you are shooting for 7.15 alacrity, which is a whole lot somewhere in the realm of, I'm slightly over, but I haven't been able to min-max it completely. I'm 7.29. Uh, and that's at 2100, so it's probably in the realm of 1950-ish, uh, give or take, somewhere in there. But um, you want to shoot for the percentage anyway, so just hover over and aim for 7.15%. Next is going to be the crit. Crit is easy. It's all the rest of what you have. You know, if you have any more space, dump it into crit. Once you meet those two all into the crit for your third as always. Like I said, on my relics, I don't have the best in slot. These are the purple ones that I've got to drop so far, and I've done a lot of a uh, lot of it and still haven't got it. I'm going to probably rank up some green ones, but for now, I have the poor alacrity one and the crit one, the actual two worst. I don't even have one of the best, but uh, the two you will need are Focus Retribution and Serendipitous Assault. That is power and mastery. They will give you the biggest benefit as everything is now scaled to level 80. So you will want to have those and you don't need to carry any more relics around. Uh, that is mainly what you are shooting for for most of the gear. Like I said, once you have the gear down, uh, on a character, you can always get 326 on another. And I will get into specific gearing of certain DPS because um, of what they need for their implants. Uh, this one I'm running melee force attacks deal 3% more damage because who doesn't like a flat 3% damage increase. And this one I have the cooldown of force, force potency is reduced by 15 seconds. 
Um, I'm not sold on this one yet to make see if it is the absolute best, but it's what I'm running right now. I might actually switch that one out. So we will see in time. And then, you know, don't forget, you will have all the abilities and I will get into that on my specific Serenity video so you can see what I'm running for my Serenity which seems to do quite well for uh, damage for me uh, and I will put out a build video on that but again with those what actually comes into play a lot now is going to be the biochem um, accuracy stims so I'm running uh, this one's a max biochem so it has the uh, mk2 uh, 700 stim in it, which is 264 accuracy and crit uh, 109 and then I also have the increased power by a thousand and re uh, reduces all healing done by 20% So it's uh, another great skim stim. This one's the uh, adrenal, but uh, it's the same thing uh, on a three-minute cooldown. So These are going to come into play a lot now with the gearing because they're not quite geared as what you used to be uh, yet <laughs> but uh, yeah if you're jumping into ops I haven't uh, had time to get into a whole lot of ops yet and uh, you can get the better gear there but for now I have uh, most of 326 I needed and I will start getting into some of the ops to uh, gear out at the 330 level so that is to come but for now those are the stats you need for your DPS and those are what you should be shooting for on every DPS uh, character there will be some exceptions and I will go into certain videos of that uh, when I make the build videos as well anyways if you have any questions like I said leave a comment below like share subscribe this was deflect firm but fair gaming we'll see you in the next video